some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Salem, Oregon at the Oregon State Hospital with the frauditor known as Robert West as he believes that HIPAA laws don't apply to him at all because he's a journalist. Yeah, okay, buddy, whatever. And he ends up getting trespassed for his trouble. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Here's the Oregon State Hospital in the back. Receive, um, I guess that's the warehouse. There's security right there. Boring! Yeah, he spent a long time wandering around this parking lot trying to incite some sort of confrontation until he actually gets one. So let's just fast forward through this uh, BS, shall we? That's much too early. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. Alright, how's it going? Good, how are you? Alright. Just curious what we're doing out here today, man. Just out uh, doing some videoing. Yeah. Well. Right. Well, this is a psychiatric facility. Um, I do ask, we do have policies, of course, regarding recording on campus. Um, I do ask if you could try not to record in windows and stuff uh, because we have patients here and there are HIPAA laws. Mm -hmm protect their health and their health care, be able to provide them proper care. You better be careful there, sir, because this is a First Amendment frauditor and a uh, self-proclaimed journalist, and he will soon tell you that HIPAA laws don't apply to journalists, which is a load of bullshit to begin with. So, if you could try not to do that, I would appreciate it. Um, we have restricted entrances because it is a locked facility. Mm -hmm. So if you could stay away from those doors, um, that would be great. Yeah, um, I don't intend to violate your security. I appreciate that. And um, I looked at the places across the street, and you only got a couple buildings left from all the buildings across the street. What happened? Yeah, so they put up this facility uh, around 2010, 2012-ish. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, so it's the new... Oregon State Hospital facility. Uh, they got rid of a lot of the old hospital buildings. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's just a couple that are across the street that are the old buildings. And then on the opposite side, um, one of the buildings is still from the old hospital. Oh, okay. So, yeah, most of it's all new. Yeah, I, um, I've, been, I've read several times that the um, Hospitals like Providence and Portland Adventist and stuff is suing because they don't, because uh, uh, basically their uh, their psychiatric wards are basically overflow for the state hospitals. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Can't really comment on that anyway, so. Right. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to check see what you're up to. Okay. Just making sure that you know, we have a lot of employees coming in and out. So yeah. We'll I'm basically filming the building and stuff like that okay. um if i get an employee i get an employee like you approach me and talk to me so yeah. <laughs> well it's not every day that we get somebody walking around with a camera so it's a little right. different it might intimidate a few people or yeah well i uh yeah. i w went over there and videotaped the juvenile place over there mm -hmm. and uh, i was over there 
for about 15 minutes and someone, oh, can I help you? No. Can I help you? And I just walked away, right? And uh, right after that, a supervisor came out. Hey, how you doing? And, hey, you're, is this knotted? I go, yeah. He goes, okay, well, you know, last time you, last time you guys were out here, it was a disaster. We, you made us look bad. So they changed their policies and all their staff got, you know, hey, it's, they have a right to film and stuff like that. I'm aware of that. That's why I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you you can't film on the property. We do have policies with that. As you know, we are a public place. Yeah. Um, I just ask that you don't film in, into the windows or right. if you see any patients, try not to film them right. for their privacy. Um, so that way. Oh, no, 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 sir. That's not going to work for this fraudster. See, he thinks that HIPAA laws don't apply to him because he's a journalist. So therefore, you're telling him not to film patients. And that is a violation of his rights. And well, there will be consequences for that. Not for you, but for him in the next few minutes when he gets uh, escorted off the property. But yeah, there will be consequences. That alone could possibly frustrate them with being filmed. Yeah. So. Well, my, um, yeah, it's, a lot of people think that uh, uh, journalists and stuff are under HIPAA. They're not. Mm -hmm. Um, there's classes and stuff that you got to take to, like, for instance, I have a friend of mine that's a counselor, and, uh, she, uh, she had to take all these HIPAA classes and stuff like that. I read HIPAA inside and out. You know, unless I have access to patients' records, I'm sort you know, it's sort of a stuck situation. But I try not to get private information anyway, so. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, man. I appreciate it. All right. Have fun. All right, you too. And be safe, you too. Thanks. Now, while you are correct in a sense that HIPAA doesn't apply to journalists because they don't have access to the records, it does apply when you're trying to protect uh, the confidentiality of any patient within a mental health facility or any other type of facility like this. And therefore, if there are patients walking around here, they're trying to protect them from idiots like you who would plaster their face all over the internet, uh, you know, like a lot of you frauditors tend to do, and which gets you guys trespassed from a huge number of hospitals to begin with. Now, with that being said, he wanders around a bit longer, filming everything he can, even through some windows, until the police show up and he gets trespassed and removed from the property. So, let's skip to that part, shall we? Eventually. <laughs> There's a trooper. I knew they'd call the state police. How you doing, Trooper? Good, how you doing, sir? All right. All right. Well, I'm Trooper Tell, just got to let you know I'm recording. Okay, so am I. Perfect. Uh, do you have any identification on you by chance? Nope. All right. Well, you are being uh, trespassed formally, all right? So you got to leave the, the premise immediately. Okay. Do you have a car on the premise that you need? I to do on the other side of the building. I can give you a ride to it if you want. Okay. You, you are required to leave and not come back unless you have official business. Okay, well, this is private or public property, isn't no, it? State property. State property. Yep, not not public. No. Okay, don't I got to get a, a written warning or something no, like that? I'm giving you a verbal warning. A verbal warning? Yep. Okay, well, if you want to drive so me to... So if you do have to come back for any reason that's official, by all means, you can contact your security. If you get permission, then you're allowed back. Uh-huh. Uh, but without that, uh, if you're caught here again filming without the permission from them, you can go to jail. Okay. For violating the trespassing. Okay, and how long is the trespass for? We gotta get permission from them to come back. So it's forever? Yep. Okay, or until I file a lawsuit. And sure. So, can I walk over to my car? You wanna walk, but we're gonna follow you, or I can give you a ride. You won't be in handcuffs or anything. Okay. It's up to you. Um, am I right in the front or the back? Um, it is the back, but it is very large. I, I can show you if you want. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'll ride, I'll ride, I'll ride over with you. Right, right this way. Any weapons on or anything like that? Nope. Right. When I do audits, I don't, I don't carry weapons on me. 
I'll let me back up a little bit more just make more room to open the door. Okay. Well, now I'm just going to end the video right here, folks, considering that uh, all the uh, fraud order does is just chit-chat with the officer about really nothing, not even so much the trespassing or anything like that. But at any rate, he says he's going to try to file a lawsuit and everything like that. Yeah, good luck with that, fraud order, considering that you were lawfully trespassed from this property because you didn't have any business uh, there whatsoever, and they were protecting their patients from you. So deal with it, dumbass. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?